This afternoon, the remnants of flooding remain in North Alabama. Cleanup is well underway in the Shoals, where water levels have dropped substantially. Way 31's Alexis Scott is live in Nathan Estates to show us that help has arrived today. Alex, Alexis. The baseball team from Muscle Souls High School is out here helping homeowners do what they can. They are pulling out carpets and taking out pieces of soaked insulation from the walls, also helping out cleaning yards. The damage on Melissa Drive has hit just about every house on this block. You can see couches, pieces of people's walls, and other belongings all on the side of the street. The pond right across the street has been flooded over for the past week. The city is still pumping water out of the area, and I've been told they have been working tirelessly through the day and night to make sure people are safe. One high school sophomore told me he lives right on this street, and he's here today to lend a helping hand. It was just really concerning for the people around me because I know these people and I see them every day. And just to see some of their houses like this, it's just really devastating because this has never happened like this in this area before. The water has gone down significantly and the water has gone down significantly and homeowners I talked to around the area told me they're just happy to have a break to be able to get all their waterlogged items out of the house. Now, when I asked the coach of the baseball team how long those boys would be out here, he told me they'd be here helping anyone who needs it until the sun goes down. I did reach out to Colbert County Emergency Management Agency, and I, they told me that there are new, no new flooded um, roads and that they don't have any concerns going into the rest of the week for any more rising waters. Reporting live in Colbert County, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News.